Hi Aries, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for my lovely Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, guys. So let's see, Aries. Let's tap into your energy. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return any dark magic, any spell works into harm. The collective and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, please return it back to the sender tenfold. Thank you so much. So let's see what's going on, Aries. Let's see what angels are guiding you on your journey at this time. Let's see, Aries. <clears throat> Messages for Aries Spirit. What is in the current energy? What's going on for Aries? Okay, thank you. So we have number 14. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay, so we have Archangel Metatron. Okay, Angel of the Divine Presence. Miracles, powerful change, Akashic records, sudden shift, spiritual growth, and hyper focus. It says, I hope you discover and develop your personal spiritual power and learn to use it to make a better world. Okay, so you might need the crystal Amatrine. Something could be happening within three months from now. And then we have Act Now. So there could be something that you're needing to work on right now, Aries, that could really, um, maybe in the next three months, you're going to be on top of your game. You're going to have what you need in the next three months but maybe it's time for you to act now work on whatever this is right now this could be something spiritual okay this could be definitely like i said about your spiritual growth here you could have a spiritual business okay or something like that but let's see let's see what um what that's all about so archangel metatron is very significant right now on your path okay um i feel like you guys are growing at a rapid rate though your your spiritual growth and your personal growth is really your healing journey is really taking off here. I feel like you are, um, and it's showing on your outer outer appearance as well. Maybe whatever it is that you're doing for work is showing in that in that way too, because you've, you've grown. So you guys can really be in your north node. You could be doing something that you really love to do, and it's because you're meant to do it, or you're getting ready to do something that you're going to love doing. But maybe you have to act now. You have to do it right now. But let's see. So a powerful shift is happening. Let's see though. What's going on in the current energy here for Aries? Current energy for Aries. Let's see. All right, so we have rich. Okay, period. I told you. <laughs> Having abundance, material wealth, financial stability, and security. Yes, yeah, some of y'all are needing to work on something like right now. Okay, 12th house. Yeah, this is Pisces energy. Hidden truths, secrets, dreams one has. Hidden strengths and weaknesses, the unconscious and karma. So there's a need to um, tap into that, that that Neptunian energy is like illusions. It's definitely very spiritual though. Pisces energy, this is very spiritual. So you guys could be high priestesses or high priests, right? Where you tap into this energy to help guide others on their spiritual journey and path. Okay, you could be getting a lot of upgrades and downloads um, about where you're headed to next is what I'm getting. Um, you have the key now to the Akashic Records, it seems like. But you have this hidden ability. For some of you guys, you're practicing magic, okay? It's something here that you are maybe... Um, you could be studying it. Maybe you could have been scared to like do it before, but I feel like you're studying it or something like that. Okay, you expose people's hidden truths. They're hidden secrets. Okay, you're really good at it too. I'm definitely getting, could be a, a, a high priestess. You could be a tarot reader. You're a medium or something like that. But something's getting ready to make you rich. So you're, some of y'all I'm saying that you need a uh, security. Okay, you're needing security. You're needing fucking bodyguards and some more shit. Okay, because you're getting ready to have a lot of goddamn money. What else? Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm getting downloads. I know when I start hiccuping and the ocean and all that it's facts okay playing games here it says someone doesn't know how to stop playing games messing around immature doesn't want to grow up okay you don't got time for that shit <laughs> so let's, let's see damn so we have meeting your match unable to compete or fight against someone because they are just as good as you yeah okay we have fake friends 10th house and toxic connection so toxic connection, it says the relationship involves constant fighting on thin ice with each other, but trying to maintain the relationship. Tenth house, that's Capricorn energy. It says this situation involves someone's ambition, their motive, their rank, 
in society. Achievements, alkalize, and social class. So there could be a toxic connection around you here. I'm already getting like third party energy. Okay, where there's fighting and shit about you and maybe some type of plan that somebody had towards you or against you with their person, whoever the fuck they with, it backfired. It could have something to do with your work, your achievements. Okay, or um yeah, fake friends, pretends to be buddy buddy when you come around but talk smack about you when you leave. Yeah, I feel like um hmm. High key money issues. Yeah, divine feminine. Yeah, I feel like you're <laughs> you're over it. Somebody here could be trying to cause you money issues or somebody around you is having money issues. Somebody feels like you're too high and mighty or you're haughty or you're like, you know, it's like, bitch, oh, well, that's how you feel. Okay. <laughs> like nobody pays you to sit there and feel anything. You know, get the facts from the source. Stop assuming. I, I feel like people, people get on my nerves when they do that kind of shit. So you could have a lot of fake people around you right now, Aries, okay? Or these could be people that's not even around you because I feel like you don't pay them any mind. You're too busy over here getting money. You're getting rich, okay? And you're focused on your spiritual growth. So I just feel like people really got the audacity, <laughs> you know, and too much time on their hands. I feel like they're, they're in connections where they, they are talking shit about you, okay? And it's like, bitch, for what? One more time. Let's see what's going on here. What is this rich card for um, Aries? What's rich? <clears throat> so we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're dropping burdens here. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody could have a, a Sagittarius Saturn. So I'm getting... I'm getting an end of a cycle. I'm also getting just delegating tasks, offloading the bullshit here. Okay, making people take responsibility for their own fucking actions. I feel like you're not carrying the weight of nobody else's shit. And this is why you're going to be coming up. Because whatever this is, it could be helping you save more money here. You're saving more money by cutting people off. Okay, I feel like um, you could definitely be healing. I feel like a lot of you guys could be trying to get a lot of rest here. You could be tired or drained or kind of like burnt out. So some of y'all could need to get rest or you're you're coming back out of a time of restoration and healing where you're resting a lot, you're sleeping a lot. So some of y'all could be kind of like popping back out maybe, but you could be a bit tired. But I, be like, I feel like you're, you're offloading fuck shit, you know? Okay, three of wands, Aries energy, that's you in reverse. So some of you guys could be lacking the confidence to do something here. Some of you, some of y'all need to get your schedule together. Okay, you have a, a maybe there's a routine or something that you're needing to kind of like fix. Okay, maybe you need to add more to your routine, but you need to change your the timing of doing certain things, right? Like maybe making up, waking up earlier. Okay, um, something like that. There's something that you're needing to change here because you could be lacking confidence to do something or something that you're needing to work on. But I feel like you're ha you're having a hard time focusing on it or you could be thinking about how you're going to fail okay some of y'all need to stop thinking like that because you know failure is not an option if you fail it's only a lesson you get back up you try again right so don't be scared of failure everybody that's successful has failed just remember that so but the three of wands in reverse could be delays or stuck energy Maybe something failed in the past, okay, but is you, there's a need to try again. Yeah, the fool. Yeah, there's a need to take a risk. Aquarius energy, set yourself free from fear of failure, okay? Some of y'all are scared of your own success, and I get it because I just, I feel like um, you know that something here is going to really change your whole routine, all right? So some of y'all need to step outside of your comfort zone. Okay, to change whatever this is in your life. Yeah, you're going to have to make some changes, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a need to take a risk. Take a risk. Do something you've never done before. I feel like it's going to add a lot on your plate, right? <laughs> but for some of you guys, you have help around you, okay? You need to take advantage of that help, obviously, in a good way. 
Yeah, Six of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody that have a Taurus moon, it's going to put money in your pocket here. More money. It's like a second stream of income that could be trying to come in or something like that. So there is a need to kind of like get rid of unnecessary baggage or dead weight and kind of like incorporate whatever this is that Archangel Metatron is trying to get you to do. Okay, or, or something like that you need to work on. Yeah, it's fear. I feel like Page of Wands in reverse is fear or something like that. Okay, um, yeah, the lovers. I, like I said, you could have somebody around you that's going to help you. Could be a lover or a, a soulmate energy you have around you that could be helping you or they coming in or something like that. Um, yeah, what's, let me see. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse right here? Okay, yeah, Six of Pentacles wanted to come out. Yeah, so, so more money coming in. Some of y'all are getting... You're adding more onto a business, right? Some of y'all are entrepreneurs. You're adding more onto a business, okay, where you're going to be paid even more, all right? Some of y'all, this is like new employment for some of you or whatever the case, but I'm definitely getting, um, you're very gifted or you're receiving a gift here from the universe, a blessing, but some of y'all are very gifted, so you're really putting, using your gifts to make money, right? That's, that's your career path. That's what you're supposed to be doing, right? So, um... This is like equal give and take reciprocity. So yeah, it's time to maybe set boundaries with people that you have around you. It's time to delegate tasks. It's time to let people take over some kind of responsibility because you can't do everything. It's what I'm getting. All right, and this is really going to secure the bag. Okay, because, okay, yeah, it could be somebody in your family or something like that. Somebody could owe you money or have to pay you back or whatever the fuck, but there could be like dysfunction around you. Yeah, the Empress, Ten of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all could be pregnant or you're going to turn up pregnant. Hmm. There's something here that you're trying to birth, though. You're trying to birth something, but I feel like it's being delayed because there's something else you're supposed to be doing first. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. You know, if you are trying to get pregnant, I feel like there's something you're supposed to be doing first before that can happen. So I feel like your, your path is really divinely guided. All right, it's very synchronistic. Okay, if that's a word or synchronized or whatever because i don't think synchronistic is a word but i just made it up can that be a word synchronistic that's a nice word it has a nice ring to it but okay yeah yeah something about your spiritual path the hierophant with the eight of cups in reverse okay it's like you're stuck or you feel trapped or something like that or somebody could be stuck in a marriage or something like that but let's see Somebody here could need your help too. They're overburdened. They're stressed out. They're stuck. They could need your help. Somebody could be trying to come towards you to ask you for something. Some of y'all really give back to your community. You give back. Okay, maybe there is a need to give back to charity or uh, uh, maybe you guys are trying to open up some type of establishment or organization to give back to your community, the homeless or something like that. All right, but I feel like you're getting rewards for this. For You already do this here for some of you. So what's the three of wands in reverse? Okay, you had a star. See what I'm saying? Aquarius energy. Something that you're destined to do. You could be having some type of creative blockage with the Queen of Cups in reverse. The star. That's like your destiny. That's going towards your north node. Definitely a good omen. Whatever this is that's being delayed, I feel like it, it's only delayed for your highest good. There's something else. Spirit is trying to get you like on straight and narrow, okay? There can't be no bumps in the road when you start this or whatever. Some of y'all are perfectionists, though. Okay, wow. Queen of Cups in reverse. King of Cups upright. The sun. Hmm. The star is a good omen. So something maybe that you didn't think was possible is going to happen. It's just delayed. All right, the star talks about a good fortune, good luck, a prayer, a wish that's delayed with the three of wands in reverse. It could be delayed because of your confidence here that's lacking, something you need to work on. What's the star? The moon. Yeah, it's hidden. It's a hidden path. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's going to be, wow, the star, the, I mean, the moon, the sun, and the stars. Hmm. This is like a really divinely guided path that you're on here. So yeah, it says the Akashic Records. Not everybody's going to have access to this. So maybe I'm speaking to a very particular t uh, Aries. Okay, I was going to say Taurus. Oh, Y'all could be on the cusp. But yeah, somebody does have a Taurus moon here. 
we have Pisces energy with the moon. Yeah, so this is, you're destined to do something. You're destined to tap in, into this dark energy. There's something dark here. I feel like, uh, um, okay, slow me down, spirit. <laughs> There's something dark here that you feel like it's, you feel like it's dark, but it's a part of your spiritual past. Some of you guys are meant to be, you're witches. You're meant to tap into this energy of, um, you know, because you got to embrace your light and your dark. So you're meant to tap into something. It's a part of your destined path, but you could be scared that you're not going to do it right. Or you're scared that it's going to lead you to a bad path. But I feel like it's meant for you to do, though. Okay, it's meant for you to do here. There's a change that you just don't see coming either. Something that's hidden. I feel like it's more so hidden. But you're deceiving yourself or something like that. What's this moon? Let me see something. <laughs> What's the moon here? Okay, yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. It's something you're experiencing some type of creative blockage, or um, there could be a Queen of Cups in reverse around you that's very vindictive. They're very spiteful. Okay, the Queen of Cups in reverse also talks about yeah, you're not being able to trust something. You maybe you don't trust this path or something like that. So you're staying stuck or something. Yeah. Queen of Cups in Reverse also talks about a block intuition and a creative block. So you could be having a creative block due to fears, worries, anxieties, or something like that. But it's going to lead you to abundance. So you really need to look at this, whatever this is. Yeah, something about your creativity. Yeah, you're going to have to take this risk or something. What's... um. There could be somebody dark around you though. Who's this Queen of Cups in reverse? Let me, let me, I'm about to tear this apart, Aries. <laughs> Who's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Okay, Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, it's something that you feel like is out of your league. It's, all, it's not your, it's not the right path or something. It's just what I'm getting. But it is though. I just feel like you're scared of it. So I could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp here. You could be missing an opportunity due to fear or there's something that's hidden. You need to study it or something like that. There's something you need to study. For some of you, there's somebody around you that's that's deceptive. They're a loser and they're trying to like keep you stuck or something like that. They don't want you to see this path. All right. There could be somebody around you trying to bully you or they could be kind of like forceful. For some of you, Knight of Swords in Reverse talks about going with the flow. So you're needing to just go with the flow of things and start trying to figure out what's hidden right here. Because it's, it's something good that's coming in. I feel like you just don't see it. Just period. Okay, you just don't see it right now. For some of you, there is something backfiring though. It's something backfiring on somebody to try to do something to you. It's backfiring. What's the fool? Mm -hmm. It's... Okay, yeah. King of Pentacles, I'm telling you. Knight of Cups. Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Mm-hmm. King of Pentacles is somebody of a high status. Definitely, you're growing spiritually, and it's also showing on your on the outside. Like your your life is about to be luxurious, or something is about to be very fruitful for you here. I feel like you're very abundant. You're grounded. Definitely, somebody that's a businessman or woman here that you're gonna have to take a leap of faith and do whatever this is. For some of you guys, you're gonna have to take a leap of faith in love or um. You could be trying to collab with other people to start up some type of business or something like that. You need you need help with something. Okay, but I feel like somebody's gonna come along that's gonna be generous enough to help you out. It could be money that you need help with. You could be needing somebody to help you buy some things for a business, or it could be this is just your own creative pursuit. And you're trying to do it on your own. Mm. King of Pentacles. It's definitely a businessman or woman. Definitely somebody Somebody around you could be very creative, an artist, or they do something. And I feel like you're going to need to maybe, maybe you need to reach out to this person to ask for help because you're experiencing some type of blockage for whatever you're trying to do. You need, maybe you're not as creative as, you know, like people that are graphic designers, illustrators, maybe you need somebody to draw something for you or you need somebody to do something here that you can't do. But I feel like you're going to run into somebody or you're going to get the help that you need here. Because something, you're on a road to abundance. Okay, this that's what this row is talking about right here. 
King of Pentacles is like somebody that invests long term. This is a long term investment. For some of you guys, you're going to meet somebody here that's a business. You, this person is going to be a business partner of yours and they're going to help you with something. All right. So just, you know, keep keep going. All right. Don't give up. But I feel like it's stressing you out a bit because it's, it's causing you to feel stuck and it's like you want to give up on it, but I don't think you should. I just feel like you're needing to keep digging, okay, until you get to your destination or something, you know? So, okay, what's playing games? Queen of Pentacles flipped out in reverse. Should I leave that there, Spirit? Okay. All right. What's what's playing games, spirit? If it come back out, it's just meant to. But what's playing games? The Hierophant. Yeah, some of y'all are or are, are, are on the uh, Aries Taurus cusp, where you can be dealing with the Taurus here. Taurus can be very significant. But the Hierophant definitely. This is somebody that's a spiritual guru here. Some of y'all are leaders in your community, or you just help guide other people on their path on their spiritual journey. The Hierophant talks about morals, values. Um, I'm, I'm hearing like discipline. Okay, some of y'all need to up your spiritual practices here. Maybe you're investing into more spiritual practices, like maybe yoga, you're taking yoga classes, or you're buying, or you're learning how to do, um, I wouldn't really say candle magic. Some of y'all could be learning how to do magic or something that's, some of y'all are learning how to up your protection here because you know that people in your energy are playing games. They're going to continue to do this too because all, all you're doing is leveling up. So you're needing to up your spiritual practices or something like that. Okay. Um, the hyphen talks about a contract here. It talks about commitment as well. Marriage. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Two of Wands in reverse. Aries, Mars. Two of Wands in reverse talks about a plan here that that's not working or a disappointment in something this could talk about having options being restricted your options feel restricted or somebody around you has restricted options because they shouldn't be doing some bullshit but i'm just getting you know um this is like your comfort zone yeah choosing a mundane kind of lifestyle not really wanting to step outside of your comfort zone okay nine of wands yeah because i feel like you're scared of it or something like that Somebody can have a Sagittarius moon. This is like being guarded or defensive. Some of y'all are trying to protect yourself, but I feel like maybe you, you don't know how to do it or you're scared of doing it or something like that. It's just going on in your energy where I feel like you're needing to up your practices to really protect yourself. Okay. Nine of Wands talks about, um, you could be quite stubborn. Somebody's set in their way. Somebody is very stubborn, okay, and very guarded. I feel like you're quite defensive, though. You could be kind of closed off to something. Nine of Wands talks about the wounded warrior. So I feel like you have been kind of wounded on your path here, Aries. But I feel like now you're trying to up your protection. And I just... Or you're going to have to because you're making more money. The more you grow, the more you're going to have to learn different ways of protecting yourself. And I feel like it's very spiritual. So a lot of y'all are scared to tap into that energy. But let's see. What is this hyphen right here? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Sagittarius energy. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius too. This is bad karma. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse is bad karma or unwelcome change. Okay, a lot of delays here. Yeah, Knight of Wands. I feel like this is more so a delay. Somebody around you is getting karma, though. Okay, you got fake friends here. Somebody playing games and all that. But I'm getting more so your energy, which is good. I mean, you know, that's what I really try to aim for. But I'm just more realistic. People come up in your energy because they need to be talked about. <laughs> just period. But the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is definitely changes here that are unwelcome here. Somebody was doing, could have been doing some spiritual work on you. And this is why you're needing to up your spiritual protection because somebody is getting bad karma for it. But I feel like in order to avoid this from keep happening or from in order to avoid this from keep, you know, affecting your path, I feel like you need to up your spiritual protection in this period. I keep getting that intuitively. What's this Wheel of Fortune in Reverse talking about? 
Yeah, the Empress. Wow. See, I can't make it up. Yep, Nine of Cups. There's something here that needs to change, but you're avoiding it. Somebody's getting bad karma though when it comes down to you and trying to halt, halt your your creative endeavors, your your pursuits here, whatever you're trying to birth. They've been maybe they've been doing some spiritual work on you is what I'm getting to. They've been paying somebody to cause a burden for you or stop whatever's fated for you to happen to delay it. Somebody's been trying to delay your path. And I feel like you're you're an alchemist here with the Empress Taurus Libra energy. You're you're very creative. You're very abundant. Okay, and I feel like somebody around you has been trying to like stir your path the wrong way. So they're getting karma for that. And I feel like whatever it is now, because I feel like a portal has opened for you. So whatever it is that you're going through, as far as this transformation goes, whatever it is that you're trying to create, it's just been delayed. For some of you, there's some type of belief system that you have for something like magic or witchcraft or something that you feel like is bad, but it's not. It's not. It's all about your intentions. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, you have the power to create something. And I feel like you know that. And I feel like that portal is opening up for you. I just feel like you have to change your belief about it. Okay, because this is what you're supposed to be doing here. I just feel like you think it's bad or it's not right or something. And it's, it is right. It's what you're supposed to be doing. But I feel like you have somebody in your energy playing around or trying to stop stop it. They, they didn't want you to see your power. What's the two of wands in reverse right here? Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you got to get rid of these fake-ass friends. These, uh, so there was people around you strategizing or just trying to keep you stuck here. This There could be a lot of malicious gossip. Somebody could have a Cancer Mercury. But the Three of Cups in reverse talks about a lot of malicious gossip. Some of you guys have addictions. I just is what I just heard. It could be eating. It could be, could be for some of you drinking, sex, or this is somebody else, right? But Three of Cups in reverse is overindulgence in something. It's, um calling off something there is a plan or something like that that's been back is backfiring or it's just halted it stopped okay somebody here wanted to do something to you i feel like yeah yeah some of y'all are world renowned psychics here the high priestess with the world then we have the hierophant yeah you're on a mission you're on a some of y'all are on a twin flame uh journey okay you are some type of witch or something like that you need to dive deep or you're studying it or whatever you're studying something. I'm getting a lot of messages. All right, so just I hope y'all follow me. But what's the Three of Cups in reverse? What is this? Okay, yeah, Five of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands in reverse. So I can have an Aquarius um, Venus. The Page of Cups. Hmm. Five of Swords in Reverse talks about the ending of conflict here. Yeah, whatever. I mean, the, the conflict is ended because they ass is stuck anyway. So whatever somebody tried to do, they could have been trying to bully you, or um, they could have been extremely like. I'm here. I'm hearing the word militant. Somebody is is very like. Uh, they have this mindset of always having to go to war with somebody. Somebody's very competitive or something like that. But there's a challenge here that you're overcoming. Okay, I feel like you're moving on. Let me see. Somebody took something too far, I feel like. Let me see some, because I'm getting a lot of messages. What's the Five of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. This talks about the feeling of like stuck. Yeah, somebody was getting ready to do something to you. I feel like it backfired. For some of you, all this shit is coming together for me. Some of y'all could have did some type of spell work that backfired on somebody. And I feel like this is opening another, um, who, excuse me, um, in a, <coughs> excuse me in advance. Okay, yeah. Bless me. Okay, um, yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse to Temperance. Yep, King of Wands in reverse. Wow, for some of you, it's a whole fucking couple here that has been doing spell work on you or something like that. Okay, for superficial reasons. These people here could have been trying to trap you or keep you stuck in a poverty-stricken like mindset or keep you poverty-stricken here. But this is all tying into your power that you withhold here. You are... um. 
there's a powerful shift that's happening and i feel like it's you you're the cause of it, it you did something here to cause a backfire on somebody or multiple people possibly and i feel like it's because um some of y'all could have did something you did some work that backfired that halted somebody's plans that they had towards you you felt called to do something so i feel like you did it okay and i feel like um you're fine you're still this empress i just feel like you're scared to continue to do this or something or maybe you don't know don't have more um you don't have enough um your skills they're not brushed they're not polished so i feel like you you need to study more or something like that but i i feel like somebody got somebody is stuck because they were trying i don't know what the fuck five of swords in reverse talks about uncovered crime as well i feel like you also humiliated these people they feel humiliated or something like that these people here didn't listen to the warning signs and now they ask is they feel restricted or they feel disappointed that something didn't work okay i'm also getting um Somebody here was very revengeful towards you. It could have been some type of violence that was escalating or somebody tried to take you out or something like that. And I feel like it backfired because you did something to cause a backfire. I'm also getting... These people were warned to stop doing whatever the fuck this is. And now they ass look dumb as hell. Ace of Wands in reverse is definitely... Um, delays is feeling trapped is feeling stuck um not having a passion for life here or somebody here is not they're just not in their north node they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing it could be multiple people right here that has been doing something their plan didn't work because you're protected nine of wands hmm, they feel humiliated or something like that for some of you, these people are getting going to jail. They're getting arrested. There could be multiple people that's going to jail or they ass is in spiritual jail. And I feel like you caught them. You put them in spiritual jail. <laughs> some of y'all have that kind of power. I just feel like you're scared of doing this or you're meant to uncover um, spiritual, uh, some type of spiritual crimes. You're meant to uncover, you're meant to prosecute these people that's the dark side of yourself you're you need to you need to be okay with tapping into the dark side of yourself you're not doing anything wrong you need to embrace the dark because not everything is love and light you wasn't always love and light i feel like in the past life you could have been some type of i don't know maybe you worked in a legal system in a past life or something like that i don't know but i feel like you condemned a lot of these dark energies a lot of these people that are doing bad to people i feel like quote unquote, it's okay for you to get revenge, right? But you're doing it in a way where it's not going to harm you. I feel like you're meant to do something. You know what I'm saying? It's like embrace the dark, okay? Embrace your shadow. So what's the nine of wands? This is very interesting. Somebody now has to be accountable for something. What's the nine of wands right here? Okay, yeah, eight of cups in reverse. So this is like a breakup, some type of breakup here. Definitely, um... Two of Cups, yeah, Two of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Venus, I got a Cancer, Venus. So yeah, you broke some type of soul tie with somebody, somebody that you had a connection with. I feel like that shit is over with. This could be a spiritual divorce is what I'm getting or like um, Ace of Cups in reverse is definitely calling off something, calling off some type of, it could be even a damn wedding for some of y'all, an engagement, some type of party. Somebody could have been trying to get you to come out somewhere just to like fucking, yeah, because this person is envious. Page of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know what the fuck they were trying to do. Somebody could have been trying to scam you or could be currently, right? Because I feel like they're mad because you broke up with them. So they're jealous, they're envious, they're upset. And I feel like this person always known what your path was, but you didn't. So they try to keep you stuck. Ciao, bye. This is... Okay, yeah, the High Priestess. Yep, Seven of Wands. You did some type of protection spell or something here backfired on somebody's ass. The High Priestess with the Seven of Wands. You're very protected in the spiritual realm because you have a purpose here, clearly. But you you, you did something spiritual. You're a witch here. Some of y'all need to really own the fact that you're a witch, okay? And nothing wrong with it. I, you know, I'm not going to say too much about it, but definitely get some book study you know study how to do protection spells spell work shit return to senders all that bitch because whatever somebody gives you they need it back 
<laughs> you feel me? Like, what the fuck? It ain't no wishing on wishing bad on nobody. I just feel like what you get out, I feel like you're karma. You're people's karma. They they try to invoke karma on you and cause, you know, not karma on you, but they try to hurt you or whatever. I feel like you're people's karma. Yeah. And I feel like you need to embrace that dark side of yourself. So if you're into witchcraft, I feel like keep moving, study it, or you could be a baby witch. Like you're you're not really um you don't really know much about it but i feel like you're discovering your that you're good at it right automatically even off the first try yeah you you have some type of high spiritual ranking yeah somebody has met their match spiritually they can't fuck with you this person could be a a damn dark witch or a warlock or something like that and you fucking you sent something back to this person <laughs> you did what, what's the meeting your match here so it's opening up a whole new world of, of witchcraft. Maybe witchcraft is new to you. You're not really into that because you always thought it was bad or there's only one kind. It's like, no, it's not. What's meeting your man? I feel like you're very high spiritually, you're very spiritually high ranked to the point where you have to do something to protect yourself. You need an extra layer of protection. Okay, because you're coming into abundance and I feel like it's it's spiritual, yes, but it's showing in your your wealth, your money. Okay, you're spiritually wealthy, your soul is rich too. It's like all that. You have to protect everything. All right. And I feel like maybe you could have somebody in a 3D as protecting you too, but spiritually you need to protect yourself. All right. What's what's meeting your match here for Aries? Okay, very interesting. Yeah, page of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody's plan or strategy it didn't work. It fucking backfired. Yeah, whoever this was that was doing this dark magic, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, that is somebody that's a dark witch. So you're definitely going to there's some type of spiritual warfare here, is what I'm getting. Page of swords in reverse is a strategy or a plan that did not work. It's like Somebody here trying to play mind games with you. Inflict fear and, and anxiety and worry. Definitely, yeah, somebody here doesn't have anything to say anymore. They're quiet. Whoever this is is quiet. They're not, you're not even speaking to this person. They're not speaking to you. Because, um, yep, Ace of Swords, the truth, yep, the devil. I can't make it up. You see somebody around you is doing like spell work on you. This person is very toxic. They're a nasty individual. Whoever this is, and you see the truth about them. Mm hmm yeah what's uh what's meeting your match with the page of swords in reverse this is like a lot of gossiping malicious gossip yeah seven of swords in reverse it's like i have aquarius moon yep in the chariot <laughs> cancer energy you block the fuck out of, yeah because you're what you block the fuck out of somebody bro somebody's work is backfiring yep the magician in reverse i cannot fucking make it up bro this is crazy. The high priestess. Yeah, the eight of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's work is shitty. Whatever work they did was shitty. It's like counterproductive. It's like not, it's, it's, it's a child by. But the, the chariot in reverse, cancer energy. This is a blockage. Okay, this is somebody that try to like force themselves or, or they try to force something. They try to be very aggressive with you. But this is like hate triumphing over love. So whoever this is, they really hate your guts. This is a, some type of warlock or some type of like a... I don't know. They're damn demonic though. Whoever this is is what I'm picking up. A lot of spiritual warfare. Seven of Swords in Reverse is a secret coming out. Somebody's being caught doing something that they were sneaking to do. Some type of strategy or plan and backfired. It didn't fucking work. It's coming out. Seven of Swords in Reverse also talks about um, a, a fake friend. Yeah, a fake friend or somebody around you that's fake and you expose their ass. And they thought they could still continue to do this until you did whatever the fuck you did. A lot of y'all are doing spell work. All right. And you're protected while you're doing it too because you're supposed to be doing this because it's going to help you in the long run. Right? So if you have a belief that spell work is bad, it's not. That's just what people are brainwashed to believe. It's not. This shit that they're doing is bad, though, because their intentions are bad to hurt other people. And all you're doing is fighting injustice. That's really it. What's the page of swords in reverse? Yeah, look at this magic using asshole. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, whoever this is is jealous. They're manipulative. They're competitive. They're whoever this is is very promiscuous. There could be lies and shit about you being promiscuous, getting around. You do this, you do that. You're a dark witch or whatever the fuck and you're not. They're lying. Yeah, Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, the Devil. <laughs> I 
somebody's strategy. Somebody could have paid somebody to do work on you. That shit is backfiring on this practitioner too because I feel like they know better. Anybody that's a real practitioner, they, they would already be able to tell like, hey, you can't do spell work on that person. It's going to backfire. Uh, you know, I feel like somebody here took it upon themselves to do that shit to you them, themselves and they're a rookie. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. What's the seven of... What's the seven of swords? Somebody really thought that they can play with you because they feel like you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're doing. You're still naive or you don't like bitch by. <laughs> What's the seven of swords in reverse? Yeah, six of wands in reverse. Somebody could have a Libra Jupiter. I mean, well, yeah, it could be a Libra Jupiter. If I said it, it's here. But somebody could have a Leo Jupiter, I meant. Yeah, this is a ill, this is a pack of people, a mob of people, a group of people, six of wands in reverse. This is somebody with treacherous energy. They really don't like your ass. They despise you. They hate your guts here. They try to take you out. Somebody here failed miserably at something and now it's coming out publicly. Somebody's being publicly ashamed. They feel ashamed or humiliated or so they're about to be embarrassed, whoever the fuck this is. Could be a Virgo, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> mm. Six of Wands in reverse. This talks about pride before a fall. Somebody here is really, really trying to upkeep something. And it's like, yeah, they, they, they know that they can't compete against you. This person here, they know that. What's the chariot in reverse? Or oh, these people. You have Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, somebody getting ready to lose a fucking car. Somebody here could have tried to do something to your car, but they, this person is not getting ready to have no transportation or do anything. <laughs> Definitely somebody is blocked. Their finances are blocked. Their, their ways to get around is blocked. Their fucking money. Everything is blocked for somebody, bro. Everything is blocked. Ace of Pentacles with this chariot in, in reverse, with this chariot in reverse. Because I feel like this is what they try to cause. Oh, damn. I just scratched the fuck out of myself. Damn. This is what they try to cause for you. Yeah, the lovers of Page of Cups. For some of you guys, you have met somebody new or you're going to meet somebody new here. This person could be younger than you, but they're your divine counterpart with the lovers. Yep, Ace of Swords, the truth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-mm. And this is all because somebody got broken up with or you don't want to fuck with them or whatever. Somebody here just has a lot of conditional love for you. It's definitely conditional. They only like doing shit for you because you what you you they had you to like bow down to them at once upon a time or you listen to what they said or whatever. It's like when you don't follow their rules, they get mad, whoever the fuck this is, you know, and they see that they can't compete with you. Just period, especially spiritually. They try to invoke like spiritual warfare, bitch. Yo ass, you didn't fuck with the wrong person for real. Whoever this divine feminine is, is not the one or the two. What's fake friends with toxic connection in the 10th house? Yeah, five of wands, like I have a Leo, Saturn, the 10 of swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah. The seven of wands. Yeah, backfire. Whatever this is, sure, sure has backfired for sure. Seven of wands, somebody can have a lot of Leo too. Somebody can have a Leo Mars. So I'm getting protection, definitely divine protection. Definitely you're protecting yourself. You're standing up for what you believe in. You're fighting back. You done sent something back to somebody. And now these, these people here, they, there's like, yeah, three of swords, the devil. It's like some bad shit coming. Can I talk to the Lisi on my phone? No, you'll talk to them on Wednesday, tomorrow. Oh. Yes, thank you. Close the door. Hmm, 11.44. So, <laughs> that was confirmation. <laughs> so, anywho, what's, um, Lord help us. Uh, you could be saying 555. <laughs> okay, what's the five of wands in reverse? Now somebody here don't want to fight. They don't want to fight anymore. It's like they... What's five of wands in reverse? Yeah. The emperor. For some of you, yeah, this could be another Aries. Or this could this could be somebody else, right? King of wands. Yeah, for some of you, this emperor here is protecting you. There, there's a divine... There's, there's something really spiritual here. Okay, yeah, we have the emperor to the empress. Wow. So like I said, there's a divine counterpart here. 
It's like now somebody know this pus this person is a pussy asshole. Whoever this is is a goddamn. They they are so bitch made. Whoever this is, because they're not gonna come up against this person. The emperor right here is somebody that does not play. It's like bitch, you're gonna respect my empress or you're gonna get the fuck on. Yeah, whoever this is right here is very spiritual like you y'all are on the same spiritual path this person is your divine counterpart okay and they're protecting you from whatever the fuck this is because now somebody don't want to play no more it's like uh, shit was all fun and games when they was invoking all this fucking this warfare and all this shit now it's like something they're not playing whoever this emperor is they're not fucking playing with this this these damn people yeah they ass is going to spiritual fucking jail what, what's the emperor for some of you this is the authorities okay what's who's the emperor who's the emperor spirit for aries okay yeah the magician in reverse yeah mm -hmm, seven of pentacles whoever this is right here they want to complete control over you there was somebody around you could be your baby daddy or baby mama they want to complete control over you virgo gemini energy with the magician definitely let's see what's what's the magician in reverse Bye, can I okay just, king of cups can i just a cookie please go ahead close the door please thank you already four okay Mm -hmm. so the magician in reverse talks about um abilities that somebody doesn't know that they have somebody is very powerful around you or you are both of y'all are powerful together but somebody doesn't realize they have some type of abilities here okay that they, they they're literally so whoever this is is literally protecting you from somebody that's in your energy that's fucking around okay and they're too scared to go up against this energy because they are pussy they are bitch ass motherfucker that's why <laughs> just period they are yeah five of pentacles knight of wands the magician in reverse does talk about trickery energy it's spell work it's it's fucking um somebody here fucking with somebody's mental this person this person literally, whoever this is, has came into your life. They've literally sent a return of spender. I said spender. Return to sender that they don't even know that they did. They're protecting you from somebody that's doing this fucking spell work. Whoever this is you have in your life or whoever is coming in here, this person has a, they care about you. This person here cares about you. They love you. They're your divine counterpart. The empress with the emperor. But I feel like this person, okay, so I'm getting twin flames but they're 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 op they don't operate out of their shadow side but they are dark they're the dark side of you because you you're light and they're dark that's yin and yang energy whoever this masculine energy is they are not playing with whoever the fuck this is they're not going to play with this person okay so spirit has sent you somebody to really protect you and i feel like you're just you're just uh you have another layer of protection because you're doing spell work to yourself you're protecting yourself what's this magician in reverse there give me more about this magician in reverse yeah five of cups in reverse yeah whatever this is it's like dark but then it's not it's light is <laughs> this is crazy yeah the high priest is wow yeah um the eight of wands mm-hmm Yeah, we have the high friend upright, the high priestess upright, the uh, the emperor upright, the empress upright. Yeah, you are you have somebody special here, divine counterpart that don't play. This person is not gonna play about you, just period. And like spiritually, this person is really high ranked too. I just feel like they're more um they're more like the emperor. They're more they could be more logical than they are heart centered. They're very analytical. They are working behind the scenes to protect you and keep you protected from somebody. Because they definitely are. They're going to fight about you. This person is not going to play. Just period. Okay. Five of Cups. Somebody could have a Scorpio Mars. Five of Cups in reverse is healing. Yeah. Somebody here got you fucked up. And I feel like whoever this is that's in your life, they're going to protect the fuck out of you with their life. This person is not playing with somebody. And they're dark. They like, you know... They're not dark, like mean or nasty or evil. They're just not going to play. Somebody here really is not going to play. What's the seven of wands? And I feel like they're secretly doing this with the high priestess. 
Okay, with the Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, yeah, somebody need to listen to the fucking warnings, bitch. Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody can have a Scorpio Venus. Oh, we. Yeah, something is clear. You see, you see something for what it is here. This is um clarity. This is a reality. Yeah, somebody's having a fucking reality check. They're not playing. Somebody is is not playing. Whoever these third parties are, they see that this is not a fucking game, bitch. So you better stop what the fuck you're doing. Just real shit. And yeah, the death card came out in reverse. Somebody here don't wanna change their fucking ways or stop doing something. What's the seven of wands upright with the seven of cups in reverse? Somebody have a Scorpio Venus here. Yeah, the strength card in reverse. Leo energy. Yeah. Somebody here. Yep, the world. This cycle has closed out. <laughs> That's crazy. Aries. This reading must be long as hell, bro. But I had to I had to get to the bottom of this. The strength card in reverse. Leo energy. That's uh somebody here feeling powerless or they lack discipline here. Yeah, they're weak as fuck. Whatever this is that's going back to this person, they're weak as hell. This person is weak. Okay, and I feel like now they're in a vulnerable position because they feel like they, this whoever this third party is, they don't have any protection. They don't have any kind of protection. They feel like they can do this shit to you without no consequences. It's like, bitch, bye. Now they ass is out here naked as fuck. They ain't got no protection they bear. They're in a really, really weak and vulnerable position because spirit has awakened uh, this person to see that, yeah, you're going up against a fucking spiritual warrior, ho. There, there's no way that you are going to win this fucking um war bitch yeah this is this is some spiritual shit right here okay so we have summertime let's go on a trip double date and have some fun yeah i feel like you're yeah you're enjoying your fucking life here something could be coming up in the summer where you're going to be enjoying your fucking life okay just period yeah home new home or moving in together let's make it official yeah for some of you guys you're moving in with your person whoever this emperor is they don't this person is your divine counterpart and they are really really protecting you from somebody that's in your energy that's playing around yep luxury suite let's spend the night together i want to spend time with you fireworks hot and heavy yeah you're good over here <laughs> you are fucking good that's this is this is so funny aries somebody thought that they could play with your ass so we have karma. Yeah, why me? Good or bad karma, karmic cycle, justice will be served, period. And it is. It says um, understanding, talking things out, hearing one another, compromising. Yeah, not somebody want to compromise. Having a baby. This keeps coming out. Finally, I've been wanting a family with you. Mutual baby love. Wedding. Someone is married, already tied, and not engaged, entangled. Oh, I thought that said engaged. So somebody here could be stuck in a marriage where they're getting ready to have a baby with somebody that they don't even want to be with. Yeah, they're trying to run away. Runner, yeah, catfish. Somebody, for some of you, it's this third party that's realizing whoever this is that did this to you, they're with a damn catfish. They're going to be exposed. This person is going to be exposed for being a damn loser and trying to do this shit to you. They're definitely going to be exposed. They feel dumb as fuck. This person, this for some of you, this person is having a baby with a third party. And this third party don't even want to be with this person no more because they see how much of a low life they are. Or for some of you, they work with this third party. And now this third party don't want to have shit to do with their ass. And that's karma. <laughs> what else? I can't, bro. But for some of you, some of y'all are getting married. You're getting ready to have a baby with somebody. You're moving in with someone here. Yeah, they can't block off this love no more because I feel like that's what they were trying to do with their stupid ass. So we have pace, slow down, getting to know you. Let's see if we're compatible. Online dating, good ones and bad ones, fill them out, use discernment. You could have met somebody here online. Okay. You could have met your lover online, your divine counterpart by chance. Heart locked down. Yeah, I'm not open for love, but when I am, you're going to need the combination. Oh yeah, the combination's open this lock here. heartbreak yeah new love yeah this person here knows that you've been heartbroken you could have an air sign um placement here in your big three or your person it has an air sign placement in their big three libra gemini aquarius yeah this 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 person this divine counterpart bro they are so in love with you this person that you could have you could have met this person online 
Mm -hmm. And I feel like it took a while for them to open your heart here or it's taken a while. But I feel like you're seeing now who your counterpart is or something. And who the fuck these third parties are or these damn karmic idiots around you. Because I feel like your counterpart is exposing that shit. It says sympathy, feeling remorseful, pity, sorrow, trouble, something they did. Mm -hmm. Now somebody wants sympathy wedge. Yeah, third party. Just like I said, someone interfering, trying to stop someone from moving forward. Yeah, then we have catfish. This person here likes to prey on you when you're by your fucking self. Whoever this is, they, they, they can't go up against whoever this real masculine is because they're a fucking weak punk asshole. That's what. Yeah, catfish. Someone is catfishing you. They're not who they say that they are. Mask, money, or romance scammer. Yeah, it's this, this fucking... Whoever this is that's trying to come up against you spiritually, they can't They can't um do that no more because your counterpart is here. It's somebody that has been exposed in your life, Aries, that is um a fake-ass loser. You know, they're a loser. Yeah, come together. Reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Yeah, because that's exactly what's happening. Uh-huh. Ciao, bye. <laughs> Let's see, what else? You're getting ready to get rich with your spiritual partner. Okay, you're gonna be rich with this person in, in your soul. Definitely that, but your money is about to look good with this person. And somebody didn't want you to get this. They wanted you to be miserable by yourself because they, I don't know what the fuck their problem is. Yeah, drama queen or king. Thirsty, causing chaos. Yeah, they tried it. They really tried to come in between you and somebody. All right, bothered. Yeah, never satisfied. Overindulgence, doing something way too much. Yeah, they, they didn't overdid it with this shit. They really have. <laughs> So we have scarred, lack of self-esteem due to upbringing. Then we have unconditional, genuine, certain love. Yeah, you and this person, you are, you are falling in love with this person. I feel like you've been scarred a lot though. Yeah, with this red arrow, something has been halted from and stopping you from moving forward. Okay. And I feel like whoever this is around you that's been doing this shit to you, they knew that this is what they prayed on. They wanted you to stay in this, in, uh, this low self-esteem type of energy, lacking confidence, ruining connections that you have coming your way, glowing, lights up whenever near you or someone mentions you. And then we have future. They see they, they see this relationship for the long term. Yeah, divine masculine child cannot make it the fuck up at all. Like, I just can't. I cannot. Yeah, this divine, whoever this is, bro. This divine masculine, they going hard behind you. They are not playing about you, Aries. Whoever the fuck this is, bro. Ooh, that's such a turn on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> they is like, uh-uh, you ain't going. This person, they'll kill for your ass. Yeah. They don't go to war behind you. They're not playing. And this person, this damn loser ass bitch over here, whoever the fuck it is, they know that. They know that for sure. Yeah. This person here is a powerful manifester. They manifest things with the with their mind. Uh, whoever your counterpart is. Yeah, this person is in love with you for sure. What if it was easy? It doesn't have to be hard. Call in the universe, the stars, and the angels, and all their powers. Yeah, find the solution. Would you take the next step if it were easy? It's time to expect ease. Call in grace and receive guidance. You are supported. Just period. I'm telling you. Today's soul action, list 10 possible ideas, I mean ideals for your soul's current calling. Lean into ease, it's here. You just have to say yes to it. I told you, Aries. Yeah, say yes to it. If you want to practice spell work, bitch, get some books, do that shit, okay? Because there's nothing wrong with it. That's your path, okay? You are some type of, I don't know, you're very initiated in the spiritual realm, honey. And you need to, what is my body telling me right now? Our body speaks to us through physical pain. Or discomfort. Our body sends messages for us to look more deeply. See the trapped emotions, the lurking fears and beliefs that limit you. Listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain. It's time to get your healing on. Okay, period. Today's soul action. Get the book, Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and find the answers toward which your body is guiding you. Okay, so that's the open. Get that book. Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay. Okay, middle initial A uh, L, last name Hay. Okay, who am I ready to forgive? Yeah, forgive this fucking loser. 
Yeah, because you have some, bro, this was a very nice reading, very deep. I had to get to the bottom of it. I know it's long as fuck, but it's cool. So this was your reading, Aries. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely leave me some comments. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know what's going on here. Um, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press that all button so you guys don't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.